and welcome to a new week. My name's Nicola. If you're new here, if you're not, welcome back. So, <laughs> you might be able to hear <laughs> that my voice is a bit dodgy. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. I'm still muggle sick. If you watched the last weekly, it was on the Thursday, I was getting muggle sick. I had like a sore throat. And the sore throat hasn't gone and now it's developed into this thing where I feel like I'm drowning. <laughs> I feel like there's fluid at the back of my throat. I've looked in my throat. It is a bit red, but I haven't got a temperature or anything. I think it's just a viral muggle sickness. But it's made me feel really rubbish. Like yesterday and Thursday, I hardly did anything because I was just wiped out. But today is Saturday. Mark's at work, I've had a lay-in, uh, which I needed, and now I'm just about to sort out Holly's car, because Holly is travelling, if you didn't know, in the last vlog we dropped her off at the airport, she's having the best time, I'll show you some photos, she's having the best time, she's now in Cambodia, right, let's find, there's one of her and Louis, you see that? Hang on, let me get my face out of the way so you can see it. There's Holly and Louie. Um, so he met her at the airport. She had to do two flights. I followed her flights on that app. I managed to get the app working. I followed her. I followed her when she landed. Um, oh, I like this one as well, where they're all in this boat, look. <laughs> with these silly hats on. These are two friends. So he's a friend of Louis. She's a friend of Louis. They're not together, but they're all just travelling together. So that's them in a boat. Let's find another one. <coughs> oh, I love this one. Holly with that beautiful backdrop. So she's having an amazing time, which is great. So I'm going to sort her car out today because she reckons there's some old chicken sausages in there that are going mouldy. Delightful. So I'm just going to take a black sack out and get out what I can and clean up what I can. And then, Mark is at work this morning and then this afternoon, <laughs> he's treating me. I think we're going for a trip, a trip to the dump. We've also got to go to the charity shop. And then I was going to ask him if he wanted to pop into the zoo. Because I've got a gold card, it doesn't cost us anything. I have a quick look around a couple of animals and have a cup of tea somewhere. Or an ice cream. I thought that would be rather nice. Um, so we might do that this afternoon. And then tomorrow we are going out for another birthday celebration. Um, a late birthday celebration for me with the family. So we're all going to go to Felixstowe. It's by the coast. Uh, well, it is on the coast. I've been there before with you, so you'll recognise it. And we go to a restaurant there called The Fish Dish, which is a chip restaurant. Beautiful food. So we're all going to go and have fish and chips there. We're going to go on the pier. We're going to go to the market. I want to try and get some more signs that I got last time for my shed. And yeah, just have a nice day. So that's the plan tomorrow. So I'm just hoping this goes. I'm taking my echinacea. I'm taking my first defense spray. I can't do it anymore, but you know, that I'm already doing. So that's where we stand. But I will try and have a nice day, even though I feel like I'm drowning, which is delightful. It's the worst feeling ever. My fibro has been playing up. All my muscles have been going into a massive spasm because of the muggle sickness. So I'll be sitting on the sofa and I'll be like this. <laughs> but yeah, it's just one of them things, isn't it? Oh, I've got two Netflix recommendations for you if you like Bridgerton as well. And I will give them to you later. Remind me. While I'm watching them, I'll show you. Right, okay. The first thing I'm going to recommend to you on Netflix is The Cook of Castamar. It's a French, I believe. Um, let me see if I can get the actual thing up. Hang on. There, that one. So let's click on that. 
I want to try and get the actual um, thingy up for you <coughs> so you can see what it looks like but that is the title of it and it is dubbed but it's absolutely brilliant if you can get over the dubbed bit you will love it so that's the first one and then the second one is actually next door to it and it is the Empress and I am on episode 5 of that at the moment but it's called the Empress and again it's dubbed but I can look past that now I couldn't before but they're so good that I just watch them and ignore it so they're the two that I recommend to you on Netflix if you are loving period dramas they do that day so we haven't gone out this afternoon <laughs> we just stayed in Mark's watched football I've been asleep in the garden and now I'm going to feed my plants and try not to get attacked by bees when I go past this bush oh like that because <laughs> they love this oh, it smells so nice look you see the buzzy bee on there <laughs> loves this plant it smells so nice Nails have been at this one. It's very annoying. Good morning. Happy. <laughs> Happy Sunday fun day. Mark's just finished hoovering. I'm just going to do something with my hair. I'm not sure what yet. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> um, and then we're waiting for my mum and dad to come round. And then we're all going to go to Felixstowe. So that would be nice. Wish I was feeling a little bit better. But you know. It is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So we're going to go and have a nice day there. Um, right, now to do something with this hair. <laughs> Here we all are. Sorry. Two plums in the back. Hello. Two plums in the front. Speak for yourself. On our way to the Felix Stone. <laughs> Mark says it doesn't take shillings. <laughs> Morning.
That's rude. That's rude, that is. That's rude. Mr. Lord. <laughs> That's right. Quite on set, quite on set. It's fucking cat. You can go on the beach now. Why do you have to wave when you're on <laughs> Oh, tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, <it's> so <laughs> yeah. yeah. is bank holiday Monday today so Mark is off so we are heading to another beach we're going to Southwold today it's about I don't know how far it is I have to ask Mark how far it is away but I wanted to show you something while I'm getting my makeup on I bought this which is um, it says gold snail it's basically a tinted moisturizer and it's got sun factor spf 50 in it which is why i wanted it um and it's basically just tinted tinted sun cream so i have put it on um and i'm not putting any foundation on this is all i'm wearing and i'm going to see what it's like with the rest of my makeup on top but i'll link it for you in the description not sponsored i just wanted to share it with you um, in case you were after a tinted SPF moisturiser for the summer as well because sometimes foundation can be a bit too much when it's warm outside so I need to get the rest of my makeup done, dry my hair and then we'll get going A few moments later Right, that's my the rest of my makeup on I've just had a massive mascara issue <laughs> I don't know what happened but a blob of it went into my contact lens and I couldn't see because it was just all black but I think I've sorted it now but yeah I think I'm I'm quite impressed with the that um, sun cream that's tinted the tinted moisturizer so it wasn't very expensive either I think it was about six pounds or something but I'll link it in the description and I'll um, right we need to get going we need to get going we have arrived it took about an hour and 20 minutes to get here sun's gone in typical and Mark's just gone to try and pay for the car park but all these car park things now are by app which is really annoying because then you've got to download the app and I don't want all these car parking apps on my phone I haven't got room for them all it's making me laugh though there's a tea room over here how do I know it no it's a tea room <laughs> Tea room, can't miss it. <laughs> we have actually bought our own lunch with us. I bought my salad, tuna salad. Mark's got some rolls. So we're just gonna find somewhere to have that first, I think. And, um, oh, Mark's just given me a quizzical look. He obviously doesn't know what to do with the car parking. Right, I better help him out. Going on the pier. Yeah. Oh. Blimey, that sea is choppy. <laughs> wow, look at it. too windy to sit outside for our picnic so we've come inside the tea room. <laughs> I've got a, a cheese roll and we've got um, this to share as well which is honeycomb tiffin. 
warm cup of tea. <laughs> Mark's enjoying his sausage roll. <laughs> but yeah, it's too cold, isn't it? But there we are. We'll find somewhere to go in a minute. Shop coffee, gelato. It's cute. Oh yeah, Mum loved those, didn't she? She did. When we went to that place. <laughs> oh, they're lovely. Really nice, they? Twenty-seven for the big one. Oh, I like the crowns as well. Yeah, very clever. And look at the bats. <laughs> They're so cool. Yeah. 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 Pickled Kipper. <laughs> That's a good name. We're just having a little wander around the town. It's very busy. Right, we're heading back to the car park and grabbing an ice cream. Because why not? I might eat my hair at the same time though, because it's still very windy. I've had a bit of a nightmare with that old pair of sunglasses. Mark thinks this is hilarious. <laughs> You can see the funny side now. We came out of the tea room after lunch and the wind blew right. sunglasses off my head and into the sea. Right off the pier, splat in the sea. So I've had to spend £15 on another pair of sunglasses. Which, you know, there we go. They were my favourites, but now these will have to be. <laughs> But yeah, we're just walking back now. It's not as windy now, is it? Yeah. There's a view of the pier. We walked right to the end of that, didn't we? Yeah. And then there's a, that, that, the little place at the end is a shop, and that's where I got these sunglasses from. It's still very choppy though. Ice cream time. <laughs> There was this crazy gulf, but it doesn't look all that, does it? So we didn't do it. But there's this boating lake. I don't know, is it a competition, yeah, do you think? Like it, so oh regatta. yeah, model yacht regatta today. Ah. We were just seeing if there was any benches, but there's one over there, someone's sitting on it. Oh, it's cute, isn't it? Little model boats. We are home bit windswept. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you a couple of things that I got um, in Southwold. We didn't get loads but we were just looking around and I got this fridge magnet. I thought that was really pretty with the pier and the beach huts and I'm going to put that on the fridge in the garage in a bit and obviously I had to purchase these sunglasses because my other ones are now in the sea <laughs> and mum if you're watching this turn over for a minute that's my mum because I bought you a birthday present <laughs> and I don't want you to see it yet right there was this stall I think I showed it on the vlog and it had all these metal garden things and I had to get mum the duck it's so gorgeous. So the lady said it's already treated, but to use some um, clear lacquer spray uh, next year on it to keep it nice. So it's very heavy. Yeah, made up with that. So that's one of mum's birthday presents. They're very clever people around, aren't they? 
Good morning, happy, I was going to say Manic Monday, it's not, it's Tuesday isn't it, because Manic Monday was yesterday. <laughs> so, I've got this really cute little top on from Sainsbury's today, the weather's pretty rubbish at the moment, but this was from a sale in Sainsbury's so I wouldn't think it's still there, but it's got like this lilac checked pattern. And obviously I like the way it flows out and I love these thick um, straps as well. And it was reduced, I got it a while ago now, you probably remember, it was reduced from something like £13 to £3.60, something daft like that. And I've just teamed it with my next jeggings because I, hang on a minute, let me turn you around. I am off to the osteopath today. I've got, I hope, is my final appointment for my shoulder. It's about 96% better. So I'm hoping this will be the last one because 55 pounds a time, and this is my third one, it takes a lot of my, you know, my money. But anyway, if you need it, you need it. And I am gonna ask her as well if she treats hip bursitis, which I've got in both my hips. I won't do it at the moment because of money, but I would definitely consider it in the future and my lower back, um, all that area. So I'm going to talk to her about that today. After that, I need to go to a couple of shops because the guineas have run out of nuggets. Well, they haven't run out, but they will do soon. And Mark was saying he would really like some more polo shirts. So I'm thinking of getting him some for Father's Day. So I'm gonna nip into the sports shop and I always say nip. I never nip anywhere. I can't nip anywhere. I will walk slowly with my stick into the sports shop. And then this afternoon, I think I might do some scrapbooking. I'm not sure. I'm gonna see how the mood takes me and how my shoulder is and everything. It should be fine. It was fine last time. It's the first time I had the osteopath. If you remember, it sent me into a massive, massive flare up. But the second time was fine. So hopefully the third time will be as well. But yeah, weather, weather's miserable today. Let me turn that off. I don't know what's going on really. So for dinner tonight, we've got this salt and pepper chicken crown that I'm slow cooking. We've got it with chips and peas so i'll carve that up or mark will carve it up when he comes in and um, we've got that with chips and peas so that's our dinner tonight watching britain's got talent all week that's on like the semi-finals so that's quite a good little evening entertainment show to watch and that's about it i think holly might facetime me later she's still having a great time i think it's 38 degrees <laughs> She can have that, she can have it. And she was on a coach for six hours. I just, when I go on holiday, right? I, especially if it's abroad, I just want to go to the hotel. I just want to sit by the pool with my book, occasionally go in the swimming pool, go, if it's near the beach, go to the beach, maybe have a little wander along all the rubbish shops that you get, all the tacky <laughs> souvenirs. And that's about it. That's all I want to do on holiday abroad. I don't want to go traveling in a coach for six hours, but she's young, you know, just living her best life. Crack on. <laughs> so that's my plan for today. I have done a workout this morning, actually. I did a cocoa, two Coco Lime Fitness workouts because on YouTube, she only puts five minute workouts now. She used to put the full ones, but you've got to pay for it now. I think, um, yeah, I just did two five-minute workouts, one for legs and one for abs. But the only thing I don't like about Coco Lime Fitness workouts is a lot of them are on the floor, and I struggle to get up and down off the floor, so I prefer standing workouts, but it was still okay I did that I'm just gonna have some yogurt and fruit and protein uh, granola for some breakfast because like I said my appointment's half 11 and last time I went my stomach kept rumbling because <laughs> I didn't have breakfast so I thought right 
this time have breakfast Nick and then you won't be embarrassed by your gurgling stomach I've just finished my osteopath appointment and she worked on my shoulder again but I mentioned my hips and back and so I'm gonna go back in two weeks and get them done I'm covered in oil because like she uses like all this oil but the funniest thing was right I mentioned about when Poppy was um, a little baby she had cranial osteopath where I go so <clears throat> she said that rings a bell poppy lord and she looked and there were her details of when she went when she was a little baby she was literally a little baby because what happened was i was um contracting when i was pregnant for weeks and weeks and weeks before i had her and it made her skull overlap which gave her really bad headaches so they had to like pull gently pull her skull back but anyway it was so sweet i was like oh you've still got poppy's details but anyway I'm going to try and f go for a wee at McDonald's and then go into Sports Direct to look for some t-shirts for Mark. I'm home. It's quarter to two. I haven't had my lunch. Thank goodness I had that yoghurt, fruit and granola before I went out. Oh, and my stomach still rumbled at the osteopath. I'm like, I, ha I ate to stop you doing that and you're still growling at me. Anyway, success. Not in Sports Direct. I couldn't find any tops in there for Mark. So I actually had to go to Superdrug. And I thought, oh, they've got Mountain Warehouse. I'll just have a look in there. I don't know whether to give these yet for Father's Day or his birthday. I know he's not my dad, but me and Mark always buy a card and a present for each other. Just as a thank you for being such a great parent. That's just what we do. Um, but I have bought him a couple of things for Father's Day. I've bought him two beer glasses that, because when he goes to, whenever we go out to like a pub or a meal out, he loves all the different glasses. And every time he'll say, oh, this glass is really nice. And um, I'm like, right, I'm clocking that. So I've bought him two of the glasses that he liked. And he was really romantic. He wanted a new nose and air hair trimmer <laughs> so i got him one of them as well but this is the first polo shirt i got him i loved the dark blue. i love mark in dark blue well in most blues i love him but i think this color is going to look so nice on him this navy and these were reduced to 15 pounds each and they had an extra 20 percent off so i think for the two it came to 24 pound something like that so then there is this one as well and it's the same one but in the green like the khaki green i really love them and they're really soft i know he's going to absolutely love those so i was really chuffed with that just sort of fell on the floor and um, got the guineas food guineas nuggets and i also picked them up a treat which oh sounds a bit <laughs> They're the ones, the bars that you stick onto the side of the cage. And these are honey triple baked with vitamins. So I thought they could have one of those when I go out. Right, super drug. I needed some makeup for Chloe and Luke's wedding because the lipstick that I put on yesterday that I wanted to wear for the wedding has literally gone dry and not very good. So I got the same one again, but in a new one. And this is in the shade one let me get out of the way 135 and it is called globe trotter it's a really nice like dark nude shade if that's such a thing but yeah in, in the maybelline superstay matte ink you know that's my go-to lipstick it's the one that stays put the longest in my opinion then i had to get them, us some more toothpaste now i really wish i had the money to whiten my teeth professionally at the dentist but you're looking at least 300 pounds so i try to get toothpastes that make them a little bit brighter i always use a colgate one but there were three there was luminous which we've got at the moment there was this one which is optic and then there was another one and they were all the same price and i thought well which one's best i don't know so i just went with that one i think it was optic but we haven't tried that one yet 
Um, I also got this really lovely, oh, that's the Guinness Nuggets, this really lovely eyeshadow palette. I don't often buy myself eyeshadow palettes because I think they're so expensive. And I just tend to use the same one, I don't know about you. But I liked this for the colours. Now I'm not going to tell you what colours because it will give you away my colour of my outfit. But this is a clue to what colour my outfit is and it's not gold. <laughs> it's not gold. But yeah, so I've got that and that was like £3 which I thought, bargain. Um, got some more tissues because of the cold, you know. It's getting better. It is getting better. You probably can hear it's getting better. But um, still need tissues. I got this. This was uh, a makeup micellar water soothing for face, eyes and lips. Um, and this should have been £6. But with my Superdrug card it was two ninety nine. And then, I'm really pleased with this. I've been looking for a new wash bag and makeup set. And this has got two bags inside this big bag and the whole set was five ninety nine, which I thought was really reasonable. Let's, let's open it and have a look. Because I've had my wash bags years, years and years. Actually, I didn't even try the zip. Oh, it's got one of the... Why do they do that? Like, put that little security thing right by the zip. How am I supposed to snip that off? Honestly... Just so that you don't unzip it and nick things, you know? Hang on, bear with. Many hours later. Right, done it. Can I get that one out? That's it. Oh! Well, that was a palaver. Let's cut that bit off as well while I'm here. Okay, so let's unzip them. I hope they're going to be good anyway. And I thought being plastic, if anything leaks, that I can't, I can't get them. Okay, there was a reason these were 5 99 They're all stuck to each other. Hang on, I heard something loosen then. Honestly. This is a joke. I'm not putting that back in there. So you've got, oh, you've got this size one, which is cute. And then you've got this size one. So I suppose like you could use one for makeup, one for hair accessories and things, and your hairbrush. And then this could be like for my shampoo, conditioner, body wash, my cellar water, all that sort of thing, you know. I have quite a few bottles because I have like all my contact lens stuff. There's a lot, there's a lot. Anyway, I'm just gonna put them like this and hope that I'll be able to get them back out because that that was quite intense, wasn't it? But anyway, 5 99 for this lot. I thought that was a good deal until I couldn't open the thing. And then she said, Oh, do you want a free magazine? And I said, yes, please. So I've got a free magazine, so I thought I could read that later once I've done some... Once I've had my lunch and I've done some scrapbooking. I've got all the scrapbooking ready. But it's a bit overwhelming, let me show you. Oh, and Holly phoned the family, like, on a group chat, and I was busy driving, so I missed that. And Mark missed it because he's busy working. Right. This is what I've got my set-up. I set this up before I left of my scrapbooking and it just like I think oh do I want to do it but I don't want to just sit here for the whole afternoon you know because I'll feel bad so I know I'll enjoy it when I get doing it but I'm gonna go and have my lunch first and then I'll get cracking on it right it's come to that time where I've taken my birthday cards down I leave them up for a week and then I take them down but I wanted to show you this one that will go in my scrapbook because my friend Claire, who I met on this channel, made this for me. Um, and it's the diamond art. I love diamond art. I haven't done it for ages. But that is very clever. Very clever. So, well done Claire. That's going in my scrapbook. I do keep a few of my cards for my scrapbook. And I have been doing my scrapbook this afternoon. I've been, I'll tell you what I watched. On Netflix, I watched Lady Chatterley's Lover, 
and yeah it can be raunchy in places but so can Bridgerton um, <laughs> but it was really really good I really enjoyed it I really enjoyed the storyline so yeah go and take give that a watch if you enjoy Bridgerton go and watch Lady Chatterley's Lover it was really good but I'm just going to get on with some dinner and I'm going to bath Artie as well because he hasn't had a bath in a little while and you have to bath them because they sometimes forget to drink so if you bath them they put their head in and drink it and they also get the the water from I think it's their tail end I think but somewhere anyway <laughs> Happy Towel Wash Wednesday I am in agony today with my back <laughs> I did that workout yesterday morning, that's the washing machine, and it hasn't agreed with my back at all. So be careful when you do exercise, because, yeah, now my back is in pieces, which is lovely, because today I am out with Donna, my author friend. We are going to go and do some pottery painting. So I think I'm going to paint myself a mug today. And I know Donna, Donna wants to paint a mug, but she wants to do like a, a bloody hand paint, hand print going. This is Donna and she likes horror and yeah. So <laughs> we're, we're gonna go and do that. Um, and then probably go and have some lunch. There's a little like cafe place nearby. I'm gonna just try and swallow some yogurt quickly before I go and pick her up. Right, so. I thought I'd change things around a little bit. Nikki always likes to video me when I uh, arrive at her house. She's actually picking me up today. So I'm going to video her. <laughs> and hopefully I will get her. <laughs> I'm waiting for Nikki. Paul was washing the cars. And Phoebe, hello. Say hello. Say hello. Oh, you're so pretty. And I can hear Paul coming back somewhere. Oh, no. And they're doing something. Should we go and see what he's doing? Paul? You gonna say hello? Hi. <laughs> You're allowing me to work outside today. <laughs> yes, make, make sure it's a good job. Come on in. Come on in. Come on, Nick. No, as soon as I put the phone down, she'll turn up and I'll miss her. And here comes Nikki. Only ten minutes late. Here she is. Let's chastise her. There she is. <laughs> How does it feel, Nick? <laughs> that man took me down this little lane. What, you can only fit one car. Lane road down there. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you should have you should have just car. you should have turned where the viaduct was. Oh my god! <laughs> and then I had a pheasant come out in front of me, and I couldn't get. Her You're on the sticks now, dear. Oh no. <laughs> I know, we've been waiting, haven't we, Phoebe? Hello. I thought I'd video you coming up, oh, as thanks. you always video me. <laughs> right, I've gone for this mug that I'm doing this design on. Well, similar to that. Donna is making a bowl for Paul. Well, I think that might be a bit ambitious, do you think? Yeah, do what with think? the headphones as the eyes. Yeah. You could have a go. Yeah, but once you fuck it up, once that paint's on there, you can't get it, oh, it's not like rubbing it out, is it? No. Or, I mean, that's gonna be the easier That'd option. That'd be the easier option, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Nick. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better
Project. You could do a blood drop on your um, butter dish. <laughs> P, that's it. Now, do I do little ones or big ones? I'm going to do whatever you want. Look at the concentration. Oh, don't make me laugh last time. I put the thingy on it, didn't I? Oh, you're so cruel. <laughs> I'm finished. Got my trees. Got me. I don't know, that's supposed to be snow, I think. And I put some little trees at the bottom. And I said to Donna, I always put the date of the year on so that I know when I painted it. But we just put Donna under pressure. <laughs> oh, dear. How's it going? I'm going to put that meme on here now, two hours later. <laughs> Yeah. Two hours, Two hours later. Later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, don't Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop now. Yeah, it's fine. That's I've got, good. I've got a, an S to do. Yeah. Right, I'm home now from our painting and lunch date. It was very nice. And I bought a dress, let me show you. They had like a little shop next to the coffee shop. And um, they had really nice clothes and things in. I don't know why I didn't vlog it actually. Just wasn't thinking properly. And I bought a dress and Donna bought a dress. <laughs> but I don't know if it's going to fit. So this is the dress. I really loved the pattern and the colours, the white and the green, the sleeves, um, but they all come in one size. So I've got to try it on. I can take it back if it doesn't fit and get my money back, but that's the dress that I bought with some of my birthday money. And also I've got Ange coming round tonight for a drink because we need a catch up before the wedding, which is next week. And I bought her a couple of bits so I've got this bottle bag that says pairs well with mother of the bride duties and I've got a bottle of carver to put in it but I think I'm going to chill the carver for a bit before I put it in there and then I've got this really lovely tote mother of the bride bag that I thought Ange can take with her with all her bits and pieces in for the actual wedding um, and then I also got her a bunch of tulips and I got us both some snacks for tonight so that's um, Angie's little bits and pieces that I wanted to get her but now I'm literally going to sit down and have a rest before looking at doing Mark's dinner well I might have some it's salad tonight so I might have some I'll see but yeah it's been a really nice day um, I always love spending time with Donna and hopefully our painting turns out okay. Hello! <laughs> hello, hello, hello! This is Angela. <laughs> oh, so how are we all? Right, come in here first. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wanted to spoil oh, you. Oh no! <laughs> Bloody chip chip! <laughs> could use it when you go to the on the wedding day oh, you can put all your stuff in it yeah. and you've got some tulips and you've got some tissues oh, I definitely <laughs> oh that's so lovely and then <laughs> this says 
Uh, pairs well. well with mother of oh. the bride duties and you've got a bottle of carva so I said you can oh, either have a glass tonight or you yay. can take it with you oh, and I've got your favourite snacks oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> can I crack your bowl? <laughs> you can yeah. crack my bowl any time <laughs> happy weird Thursday it is one o'clock in the afternoon let me put you in the cupboard so I had a lovely evening with Miss Angela last night. I'm just doing myself. I'm so tired. I'm doing myself a Pepsi Max because <sighs> I'm exhausted. I didn't sleep very well last night. We've got more stress going on. More stress. And I don't need it. <laughs> I really don't need it. But there we are. That's what happens. So yeah, I had a rubbish night's sleep and obviously it didn't help that I shared half a bottle of Prosecco with Angela <laughs> but I think that didn't didn't help the sleep <laughs> let's put it that way but I think Angela enjoyed having a chat and a catch up and she loved her presence as you could see so um no that was really oh battery's dying that was really nice Next week, this time next week, will be, yeah, one o'clock. Chloe and Luke will be getting married this time next week. So next week, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the weekly from tomorrow, which is Friday, so that you get, because I will stop Wednesday. Wednesday will be my last day of the weekly vlog, because Thursday I'm going to film the wedding day as a separate vlog. Because I thought that had been something nice for Chloe and Luke to have as well. So you'll have the whole wedding day in a separate vlog. I'm now going to go and edit this and drink my Pepsi to try and stay awake. Got the Tesco shopping coming later. And Holly's still having a great time. She's at um, this place today where, it's, I think it's called Train Street, where a train comes along and you have to pick up your tables and chairs. <laughs> So I wouldn't like that. I, I would panic so much. <laughs> but yeah, she's still having a great time. So that's good. Right, I better go because my battery is going to die any minute. So hope you've enjoyed this week. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a nice comment. Subscribe if you haven't done already for future videos. And hit the little bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you all on Wednesday for another Wednesday upload. Have a lovely weekend. It's supposed to be nice weather in the UK, so fingers crossed. Take care. Bye.